Hey everyone, how's it going? Grey Matter Games here with another Star Wars Unlimited video. Here we have a Star Wars Unlimited Twilight of the Republic set box, booster box. We have 24 packs. We're going to go ahead and open them up and see what we get. So, able to order, pre order a few boxes um, this week. One of them came in a bit later than the rest of them. The other ones they've opened already and pulled whatever cards I needed for the deck that I wanted to play, which I in red. Uh, and so I had this extra box come in late, and I say, no, why not? I had two boxes come in. I forgot this one was coming. I'll open one and see what the pulls are, and uh, or set them aside and do like a draft with a couple of buddies. The other one I'm gonna open up on video for YouTube, so you guys show you guys what the pulls are, and then you know I go over what we get there together. So we're gonna put this in the side here. I'm gonna open it up pack for pack. We're gonna kind of zoom through the comments. Because you don't really need anything from there. Take a look on comments or some that are being played in decks. You know, I'm kind of set that aside from the new Jedi. That's are pretty useful. Um, in some decks, my buddy and roommate's playing a Quinlan Voss deck. Uh, Quinlan Green. And so he's using a lot. He's using Shakti. He's using Ayla. So there's a pretty cool Jedi in there. Uh, so see if we can pull any of those. Help him finish his deck. But Anakin, which is what we're playing. And we're going to set leaders over here. We're going to set lands over here, call them lands, magic player by habit, bases. So the bases over here, and we're just going to go through the commons and set them aside. Over here, over here, put our commons underneath, and we'll put our rares and stuff for any legendaries. I have sleeves here. We're going to immediately sleeve them, set them aside. Our Solus one, dollar, petition to sense. We already have a full art rare. That's one of our uncommons being replaced. So petition to Senate as a rare, and a Hu Yang as our other rare, which is pretty good. He's moves in the Quinlan Voss deck as well, which is pretty cool. And we'll put our foils here as well. I like to just separate everything um, so that you know they all have their own piles. I can sort them out after I just got an organizer for all my cards. It's a lot of boxes. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get a full art Dooku, which is cool. Best. We're going through all the comments here. We don't want it to be doing like an hour long video or anything, right? So, Rudhako is a pretty useful uncommon. So, it's Jesse. You played my Anakin Red deck. Another and another Saw Guerrera. I now have a playset. The Foil Hellfire Tank. So, I'm just seeing if we're pulling anything good here. Most of my boxes, there's Quinn's Duty of the Devil. Uh, most of my boxes have had um, on the low end about three legendaries and on the high end, six. So, we're hoping to get somewhere in the middle, four or five. Obviously, the more the better. Those Padme reprocessed at by droids and a Zilla Beast. A foil ag aggrieved parliamentarian. Mouthful. Pack. all blue base. So the commons here. Echo, death by droids, try tri fighter, and a sand hill, which I think will be pretty useful in any new cunning villainy decks. Unfortunately, but we just got banned. So I think the new top cunning villainy leader is going to be Asajj, but I don't know how well he fits in that. It'd be interesting to uh, kind of take a look at that kind of one of those decks like that, make something like that, and try to deck tech it. See if it works well. Padme process, yard, and a slime war, and a foil Luminara. There we go. Which. A little unfortunate, I find, in terms of value of cards, is foil rares aren't as um, as prized as other trading card games. You can get a foil uh, in Magic, let's say, you know, like one and a half times the price. But because there's a foil in every pack in the Star Wars, it kind of diminishes the value of them, I find. So they're only like a dollar or two more than the actual base card, but you've wanted a full art version of it or a full art foil, and that jacks up the price, so... Foil Luminar is pretty cool, but not exactly what we're looking for. The heavy, zero, OC Sobek, and Brain Invaders. Foil Captain Type was pretty cool. Attack. 
few packs in, no legendaries yet. Commons, I got the Typho, Senator, Terry, the High Ground, and the Fork Lando. Got a Pre Vizsla. I don't put the rare leaders in with my rares. That's because you get a leader in every pack. You have multiple copies of rare leaders. I just took them in a box with all my other leaders, and I need to pull them out unless they're a full art version or foil version of themselves or obviously a showcase that I'll kind of keep that aside. Commons, Iron Guard, Interceptor, Binks, and Gorilla Insurgency, and a Foil Poggle. So another two rare pack. And again, sorry, go through all the commons. Carrier, a massage, pretty good. A rush Clovis, and a foil common. Another massage again, another rare leader, but we kind of keep them all together. Home Commander Cody, a Magnet Guard, Lucky Gunship, and there's our first legendary Pyrrhic Assault. It's for his face for three double green. Each friendly unit, when defeated, deal two damage to an enemy unit. So, um, I don't know how many double green decks are going to be. Only four, maybe like the Palpatine control one. So I don't see each friendly unit deals damage. I don't see that playing in him. Um, so maybe not. A well played legendary, but so there we go. Legendary nonetheless, still worth value. R2D2 is a broken uncommon, but he's playing it in his Kunin's boss deck. It is awesome card. Kraken, Winter of War, the Malevolence, Foil Arc 170. Gunray. Zero Shakti, useful, champion, and a fine addition to my collection. I've yet to open any General Grievouses, so that'd be cool if we can get one of those in Legendaries. I also haven't opened any Ahsokas. Oh, there's the A. Oh, that's a good result. Okay. But for our foil, I got excited. Divine Guard, Chief Defender, Protected, and another Kit Fisto. That's my third or fourth Kit Fisto I've opened, I think. But, make sure there's piles that are working. Teed Meter. And, put the commons up here. Another Bo Katan. Definitely have plenty of those. We're pretty deep into the box now, just over halfway. One legendary is not. Chapter of Palpatine, pretty cool. One legendary is not uh, reassuring this far. Fowler, and Hakko, another Zilla Beast, and Quadrant of Vultures, foil. Another full of foil at the end. We'll see what that is. Quinlan, Alice, oh, I saw that coming. Let's put this into two piles now. Okay. Common self destruct. Manufacturing got a General's Blade and a Genosis Patrol Fire. So, Flart Foil Common, not worth much. It's really nice about these Star Wars packs is they're made of paper. It's really easy to open. Got Django. Same thing. 
and ship souls one from their strike. I'm asking the conspiracy, hope I can speak properly, and a foil tri fighter. That's a pretty cool card. Free drop for three, three space unit. And if bases can't be healed, I think it's going to be good in any um, aggression villainy decks uh, that are going to be a little more aggressive. Maybe like a Kylo Ren deck. Super fun. Stopping bases from being healed. You can stop control decks right in their tracks. And a trench, the Senator, a full art Jesse. I might put it on my deck. It's pretty cool. And consolidation of power. And we got four six packs left. Hopefully there's at least one other legendary in here. Hopefully two. Because this is uh, a little disappointing. Hate for the unboxing video. The first unboxing video on the channel would be a crappy box. Doesn't have much in it. Twice the Pride. Awesome card. My Anakin deck. A Sand Hill. And a Foil Vanquish. Again, little base. Commons. Count Dooku, that's cool. And a full Pedoranaki Arena, which is the uh, yellow base. Each leader you control gets plus one plus zero. I think it'd be pretty cool in a massage deck. Well, it's foil. Here with the rest of the rares. Normally, I'll put them with the other bases as well. Um, kind of set it onto the side with their own special location because no, there's there none of the uh, special bases, the rare bases, are as good as ECL or even Tarkin down. So if I open up set one again, then yeah, I'll set those into the binder because you know they're actually worth something. But the new ones, not really. Will, another twice the pride. Plo Koon, awesome card. Rilla, insurgency. Mostly getting rares, there's only a couple packs left. Hate to be disappointed by a box. Most of there's a couple of boxes I've had, you know, low picks from, but nothing that's been super disappointing. There we go. Invasion of Christophus. Christophsis? Yeah. So that's another legendary. Um, 15 cost, exploit 4, defeat each unit it controls. Awesome one sided board wipe. Uh, it would be interesting to see any blue control decks. It's just blue, it's not a villainy or heroism, so you can play whatever blue control deck you want. But you'd be able to yeah, have, take care, take advantage of exploit. Now, maybe having droids or low cost units that you can get rid of, sacrifice. You know, most control decks is just, you know, removal spells and um, sentinel creatures. Not when you want to exploit them, right? Uh, Django, that, here are the commons. Foil, full, full art foil, can't speak in the back. Savage is cool, top of things. Wing leader, got another Luminara. And a full art squad support, which is an uncommon. So the rest of the foils. And here's the last pack. So if we only get two legendaries in this box, it's kind of a kind of a letdown, a bit of a shame. Especially they're not no any uh, any money cards that we're looking for, like the Ahsoka's. Um, would be another one that the legendary that would be worth a lot. Um, just a couple of them. These aren't it. For our Captain Rex. Also, out of the five or six boxes I've gotten, I haven't opened a showcase, but I did for my prize boxes. My prize packs I got from playing in the pre release. It's pretty cool. But nothing from the boxes I've opened. Fine edition. Yep. And thanks for so. So, mostly a bunch of rares. Um, some good ones, some not so good. Uh, and only two legendaries. So, a bit of a disappointing box. It happens every once in a while. No. I did open five or six boxes, so bound to have a bad one eventually. The other ones were all been pretty good to great. Uh, so you know, you take a uh, take it on the chin. It's okay. You lose some. You win some. You lose some. So um, you know, maybe we'll be getting 
uh, probably won't be getting any more Twilight of the Republic boxes, but when they do the set one reprint, which is allegedly confirmed, um, that might be in the beginning of next year, we'll get maybe a box or two of that. There are some set one cards I'm still missing, uh, so we'll get a couple of those, and we'll open those as well on, on the uh, on the channel, do a video of the box opening. So um, that's it for the box here. Some cool rares, not much else, a couple of legendaries, so a little disappointing, but it's okay. Uh, we go again, as we say. Um, but yeah, we'll be back with uh, another couple of videos of Star Wars Limited. We're going to do a deck tech of the Anakin deck that I've built. I've already do a little bit, a couple tweaks to it, uh, and then uh, I'm going to be doing some playtesting during the week offline and seeing if there's any other decks that might pique my interest that they can build put together. Um, see what works, see what doesn't, and do deck techs on those too. So, uh, thank you all for stopping by and joining me on this box opening, and I'll see you guys in the next one.